ile story yako ya BNN. Mm. Ipi yo. Ile story yako ya BNN ile. Mm. Ati yo preza mini piga, yo preza mini alika. Yeah, you have to elaborate it, bro. Yo preza juu, yo preza nini. Mm. Mm. Chiki, kulienda endaje jo. Wele yeah. lipoteza edga ubari nini. Ata si yivu. You know, the thing is like, and I really want to put this story out there because I want I want the other generation to learn from me and or rather learn from my mistakes. Yeah. So I had a relationship with a lady, not even a relationship. This lady came to me and told me, "Oh, nikonam mtoto wako." Right? So I said, "Okay, cool." At first, of course, you know, jo sim toti nikona usiano nae. I thought to myself, I'm like, "Ah, uya na nipanga unaelewa." Then later on when I came to see my child, you know, my daughter Dina You know what I'm saying she looks exactly like me like kitu yenye alichukua kutoka kwa madaki ni kushuta tu that's 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 the only thing alichukua kwa madaki kujamba yeah kujamba unaelewa <laughs> but then um viliani alijaribu madaki nimemchukua nimemweka nyumbani nimemweka yani na familia tunafurahia kwa sababu ametuzalia unacheki yeah. lakini udem nimwambia kwamba mimi na wewe kwanza we are not an item secondly you know like me and you this has just happened abruptly and at first i was pissed off because akuniambia baada ya miezi tisa yeah. then baada ya vile naona mtoto unajua watu wanasema damu ni nzito kuliko maji nikamcheki mtoto hivi nikasema aye aye huyu ni huyu ni mini mi unaelewa so nikam accommodate lakini you see binadamu we feel so entitled we always feel like you know hii ni majukumu yetu we have to unaelewa she felt entitled and i don't really want to touch upon it much but long story short she felt entitled to an extent whereby she checked herself in hospital yeah. at Nairobi women so i was very pissed because i'm like first and foremost kawa when you dem yangu ya usijiingize Nairobi women's yeah. enda Karen hospital <coughs> ama enda Nairobi hospital ama kama vipi niambie nikupeleke maju i take you to india yeah. when you come back after treatment you have the talking, baniani you like have the you. bubble head you like ha huh, huh. <laughs> so this lady checked herself into hospital and of course you know like um as as human beings right yeah. this world that we live in people tend to lean towards the ladies side which is understandable mm-hmm. but then i really did nothing wrong okay mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. this person tried to throw me under the bus right yeah. so when i went to a hospital i said how much is the bill they said 80000 i said can i see the transcripts and then when i was looking at the tra- at the receipts i see bed rest i see milkshake uh, meal bed rest there's nothing that you know she medical. was medical okay no x-ray no scan no nothing but the world already had a judgment about me nelio so i cannot come back on your prison maybe i think it's the tattoos i'm not sure or maybe it's, it's the cool kid in you man ah uh, you know so when that happened you know kuna saa zingine mazee in life right there's some things as much as many prayers you know me i make impossible possible but then There's some things that happen in life and for me I reach me fika ukingoni kwa hiyo nikifika ukingoni niambia gatu saja kutoka hapa we na vigeto juu mimi mimi kama mwanako nime sina budi sina mbele sina nyuma ni kama kuko amenyeshewa lakini saa godi aniangushagi kwa sababu hiyo aibu yenye nilijaribu kunitea ili mgeukee yeye mwenyewe And then I can say my kwamba tio ni kuna mimba nyingine bro unajua mimba ilikuwa ni mtu mwingine mtoto alitokea na kaka kama Titus <laughs> Now you know how can you call your, your child Titus you know how? Hmm? Hey bro you, you Titus ni Titus tight us ama na, Titus na sha, Titus na shanga <laughs> so you see at that point in time right yeah. Joe kabla hiyo incident all them alikuwa tayari maisha ni yanaisha vituko but i said like you know let me give it the benefit of the doubt yeah. watch any you know like you know madangu ananiambiaga madam ni kama watoto wadogo mm-hmm. wabembeleze nini lakini huyo mzee alikuwa anashindwa saa mtabembeleza kivipi aleta sister yake sister yake mwingine what in accommodate kwa sababu nini 
umekuwa brother in law. Ah uh, si brother in law, au ni manti wa da, wa, wa dinner. So you see like in an instance like that I didn't have to say at Ikomba uh, I need to get closure because everything was in my eyes to see. Yeah. And when I saw that nikajua kwamba kama huyu mtu anaweza kujaribu kunitupa saizi sembuse baadaye unaelewa. And that's when I I learned to put a break to everything. So you know another thing is I'm a be totally open like alichukua mkidi akifikiria kwamba akichukua mkidi then I mean grab me by the balls okay but then i said you know what about my own happiness what about me forget everybody else forget about my mother forget about for my brother sanity, forget about my sisters yeah. for what about me for my own sanity right i just had to let go and that's why you know we're having this topic today because you know once you know how to let go then you can be able to maneuver.